Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. Welcome back to Up and Adam channel two where you get all of the extra coverage and that's exactly what we're back to bring you right now. We are back to talk about Kristen Doty shading her bio for her new show, The Valley, but also Alexis Bellino has been officially spotted filming, which means the drama, the chaos, the shit is about to hit the fan. We're gonna talk about it. So before we jump in, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And, um, oh, oh yeah, I'm giving away a free blue mean literally probably by the end of this week. I will explain to you how to get yours by the end of this video. All you have to do is answer a question. Let's go. I want to start with this Alexis Bellino shit because this is a big deal. Now, thank you to all about The Real Housewives, but Alexis Bellino was spotted filming for season 18 of The Real Housewives of Orange County. She rejoined the cast in a friend role. Hmm, interesting. So she's back. Alexis Bellino has officially rejoined the OC cast in a friend role for season 18. They're giving all the details. They said Alexis Bellino, who was an Orange County housewife from season five through season eight, has rejoined the Real Housewives of Orange County in her friend role capacity. Alexis is back is what a production told the outlet, a production member, um, adding that the OC alum is expected to film for the entirety of season 18. So on Tuesday, Alexis Bellino started filming and shot her first group scene with Heather Debro and Emily Simpson. They had a meal, espresso martinis, um, TMC got a photo of it, and that's exactly what I'm showing you. So a source told people that despite Alexis Bellino living her life away from the Bravo cameras for over a decade, her return, well, was made easy due to her, her authentic connections with several of the cast members. Alexis is feeling energized and excited to be back in the mix. She has authentic relationships with many of the girls, so it feels completely natural to be spending time with friends. Now, as All About the Real Housewives previously reported, Alexis was asked back to OC mainly due to her ongoing relationship with Shannon Bedore's ex, John Jansen. Her relationship with John is certainly interesting, is what an insider said, but it's not the only reason producers want Alexis back. She's a dynamic personality who has a history with a good portion of the cast. It was at BravoCon where Alexis admitted that she would be open to reprising her status as a housewife. And in December, Alexis told Page Six that she'd never say never to returning to the show. That she would, well, her return would start a little bit of drama because Shannon knows about her relationship. She also said that she doesn't really care what Shannon thinks of her relationship. She said, here's the truth. I have never met Shannon. I've never worked with Shannon. I wish her nothing but the best in life. Shannon, on the other end, um, she obviously expressed a little bit of anger towards John dating Alexis because she said to E! News, John is very well aware of a lawsuit that I was involved in with Jim Bellino. Alexis was involved in the lawsuit. I was financially and emotionally devastated for years. I won, but it devastated me financially, and John's aware of that. According to Shannon, John also never enjoyed being in the public eye, and now he wants to thrust himself back into the public eye. So she said that she's really confused about that. I'm actually confused as to why they put her as a friend role, but I guess it'll make sense probably. Well, it depends. I mean, they just started filming, so they could always just promote her to a full-time housewife. Maybe she didn't want to be a full-time housewife. I don't know why you would come in as a friend and not want to be a full-time housewife. I have questions to which I need answers, but also speaking of throwing themselves back into the mix, Kristen Doty. So her and her boyfriend, Luke Broderick, are now throwing shade at their bios for the new reality show, The Valley. So Vanderpump Rules alum Kristen Doty is a seasoned player of the reality TV business. Thank you to realityt.com. And she has a keen eye. She took issue with part of the bio that was written for her role in the spinoff series, The Valley. The Valley is also obviously going to star Brittany Cartwright, Jax Taylor, um, some of the Vanderpump Rules alums. It's going to follow them into the next phases of their lives. And... It's going to show their roles as parents and opening new bars, but a statement from the bio release about Kristen's planned motherhood had the reality TV star uh, not so happy. She took to her podcast to clarify the truth behind the comments. On January 20th, Kristen and her boyfriend Luke Broderick spoke on 
her podcast, Sex, Love, and What Else Matters, to discuss what was written about them for the series. Bravo released a promotional clip as well as the bios to promote the valley, and they read them while on air. After her last breakup, Kristen came to the realization that she was ready to have a baby and a life, well, and as life would have it, that's when she met Luke at a wedding in Colorado. An outdoors man who enjoys fishing and hunting in the Rocky Mountains, Luke is no fan of the hustle and bustle of Hollywood, but has chosen to reside in the Valley to be with Kristen. This duo has a lot to juggle, including starting a family, caring for three dogs, running multiple businesses, and not to mention figuring out which state they want to call home. Kristen clarified that she needed to explain her desire for a baby starting long before she met Luke. Okay. She said, shout out to Bravo and NBC. You are the best and all that good stuff, but I was ready to have a baby. And as life would have it, I met Luke. Well, thank God he walked into my life just as I was ready to have a baby. That's not exactly how it went. She said, I like this bio for the most part. There is explaining on the show in that part. And I know I explained it. My recent ex, Alex, before I met Luke and even my ex before that, Brian, who was also known as Carter, I wanted, you know, a baby. I always wanted to be a mother. It's just something that is in my blood. And I always knew it was something that I would be really good at. So the timeline goes back quite a bit. She felt the desire for motherhood for a while now. Luke actually brought me to the realization that I was changing myself with my exes to obtain that goal. And it has been known that I want kids. Luke also felt similarly about it. And he said, we will wait. The time will come to explain more about all of that. The only part that I'm not in love with is the narrative that you just chose me to put a baby in you when I didn't even know you yet. (laughs) What a way to... um, The narrative that you just chose me to put a baby in you... Well, speaking of somebody spinning narratives, uh, there's another one. I want to see what you guys think about this. Did Ken and Lisa know about the affair? Going back to this last season, do you think that Ken and Lisa knew about the affair before it was revealed? I don't know if Ken and Lisa knew about the affair as much as I think production probably knew about the affair. They did catch us in Cancun. Like there's a moment that they caught on camera of Tom like slapping my ass, like right behind Ariana's back and me pushing his hand away. And, and they caught that. I know that they saw it because they kept it in there. They also teased the affair with the trailer that came out and the trailer came out obviously before season 10 came out. So I have a feeling, plus producers are all up in our business. They're looking at what we're posting all the time, who we're hanging out with. Um, They're hearing what we're saying, like when cameras aren't rolling because we have mic packs on. And so it's very enmeshed. And I would be very surprised if they did not know about it. Can you address your... Hmm. Okay. Okay. I would be very surprised. I feel like if they had known about it, Lisa is an EP. She definitely for damn sure would have made sure that that hit the show before Scandaball broke. Just saying. But I want to hear what you guys think. What do you guys think? My question for you is, and this is the way you enter. I always have been telling everybody, all you have to do is go anywhere you get your podcast, like you see right here, click on Up and Adam. We're only 35 ratings away from our giveaway and drop a five-star rating. Let us know. Are you surprised that Alexis is joining as a friend of? And do you think that she'll be promoted to a full-time housewife or no, you think a friend of is good? I'm so curious to pick your brains on this, but yeah. And then that's all you have to do center. So I love you guys. Smash that like button, show some love, and we'll see you next time.